to my channel if you're new here hi my name is danielle please let me just say the last time by subscribing like also leave a nice comment if you do enjoy the video and don't forget to turn on your post notifications so you can know when next i post okay so what do i do here i do lifestyle vlogs and interviews <laughs> for now but after that you know and guys increase in number i will be doing more content but i hope you enjoy the content that i do give you right now okay moving into today's video so i have a special guest here <laughs> introduce yourself hello everybody <laughs> welcome to my new channel <laughs> she will always show herself <laughs> i always knew my name is Afwebu Clementina Nina, aka Tishoma Spice. Yes, <laughs> she is full of spice, you know. So Clementina Nina, eh? Afwebu, eh? <laughs> she is a what did you say you so? Human nutrition and dietetics. Okay, it's a So I wanted to call her on here to interview because I mean there's some courses that we saw in Nigeria and then Nigeria has always downgraded, you know, like. For me, I used to think, okay, when you finish, you don't open restaurants. <laughs> <laughs> I can't walk in restaurants, or, you know. But I mean, there's more to it. So she's here to tell us, you know, to more about it, what it's all about, and, you know, everything. Right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, first things first, why did you choose to study HSN? Um, first of all, I didn't choose that at mm. first. I was applying to get nursing science oh, in school, okay. so condition changed and Nigeria, no man, no man, no, no man, no man. <laughs> they now give us this one. Yeah. So we were panicking at first. Then I had to call my cousin who was a nurse. Yeah. I was like, "See you." They didn't give me this thing. See the one they gave me. She was like, "Ah, that is actually new in Nigeria, but it's a nice course, so yeah. I should go for it. I should just go for it." Yeah. I was like, "Okay." fine let me go for it so i took my time i browsed through and i searched i saw it was okay it was mm. we are like the doctors in the food aspect Ooh, fancy. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. that's all yeah so, okay how many years is the course um in nigeria mm. it's four years mm. but how many years did you spend in school four years uh, it's not asking this school is not an asking hello Sorry, please excuse me. We didn't really get the University of Calabar. I think I don't know that also. We we're under ASU, but, but you never really the grace of it. God, yeah, we didn't. Well, I focus only five years ago. So. Finished at the complete year. Complete for you? Yes. I've been in school for seven years. I'm trying to. God forbid, I'm not coming. <laughs> <laughs> I'll but be here. I mean, yeah, I'm not saying. Yeah. <laughs> Nigeria, one thing always hold you hold back. You one back. thing, one thing. Okay. So as a HSMB student, what what is your ideal job role? What are you supposed to do in society? Okay. The thing is, um, most people mistake nutritionists mm -hmm. with dietitians. They are two different things. Like now, I studied human nutrition and dietetics. Mm -hmm. Let's say um, I'll get the BSc certificate. I'm more like a certified nutritionist. Just mm -hmm. BSc, but for me to practice, I would need to um, write the licensing exam mm -hmm. before I could get the full um, opportunity or authority to say, okay, I can handle a patient. Mm -hmm. Now, the difference between a nutritionist and a dietitian is that um, nutritionists are those who would, um, how do I put it now, like they can help boost your lifestyle your feeding lifestyle mm. like they can help they can help plan a menu for you but they literally okay should i say they are you can find nutritionists more in gyms mm. fitness coaches that help you with your yeah food, with your you food eat. what you eat um how to eat them and when to eat them and all of that mm -hmm. but you don't have the right to work in a hospital hospital okay, okay. you don't have the right to to handle a patient you don't it's not even allowed okay, so that's yeah. what differentiates yes yes i have more ideas you understand knowledge, okay. knowledge yeah i have more knowledge about it so i can handle 
with the ideas I have, I can mm. handle patients. Okay, it's like a sick person, how to, what they should eat yeah, to get better yeah, yeah. to help like their a, Yeah, body. like a medical nutrition therapy. Okay, okay, all Like um, um, cancer, um, diabetes, hypertension. So, ideally, if I want to add with I need a meal plan, I can contact you. You can contact me, yeah. Yes, you can. Okay, that's nice. Why do you want to add with? No, not me now. I want to lose weight actually. So I'm still going. I'm talking about other people. <laughs> Are you in fool? Why would I want to add weight as I am right now? Oh, Are you I'm sure. Mm, I, don't want to <laughs> I actually want to lose weight. So I'll contact you. Okay. okay. Yeah. <laughs> but okay, in today's world right now, like it's hard getting jobs, like normal jobs. So what jobs are there online for you guys? Like for example, like. You know, there are always job opportunities online. Yeah. Like, how would you get your job online? Like, if you want to get a job online. Okay, if you want to get, or, or should I say, if you practiced mm -hmm. or if you studied human nutrition and dietetics, you can, on your own, you can be your own consultant. Mm -hmm. You can set up your own office. Or if, yeah, if you're a registered nutrition dietitian, maybe you don't want to do kabu kabu work, you don't want to work in a hospital. Mm. If you've gotten your license, you can start up by setting your own office, mm. doing consultancy jobs, yeah. and um, you can also um, um, plan your, do your meal plan where you put online, people and will sell buy it. and, yeah, and okay, sell it. Okay, so okay. there are other ways. There are different types of dietitian or different types of registered nutrition dietitian. There are re um, research dietitians, mm. there are pediatrics dietitians. We have. Um, what does the research dietitian do? That's mostly, yeah, mostly research is on new food. Not, not new food, like new things. How do I even? Not new food per se. The same way doctors. Doctors don't stop learning, you know. Yeah. They are, they, they are, they are, this thing don't end, I mean, they are, they don't stop their profession, in yes, doesn't end in school there. Mm. You keep reading and researching yeah. new things. So that's it for us to We find out foods, new foods, or should, then diseases where, um, foods that could help you manage this Some disease, disease, disease okay. and all of that. So. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Like all these new plantain flowers, mm -hmm. plantain all flowers, those stuff. Those things, okay. Just so now they do. basically, we are not the ones. We <laughs> are the ones doing it. But in school, mm. we were taught how to do those stuff in mm. recipe development. Okay, okay. Yeah, where you we developed our recipe ourselves. Okay. Yes, yes. Yeah. So which recipe have you done? Okay, there was one we did in school. Mm. Five so, yeah. It was um for aged or be aged it was for aged people people especially when i mean aged like old ones that don't have teeth yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. so they can't masticate their food so we, we, we don't masticate <laughs> chew now you, I chew. Chew. Don't talk chew. he said <laughs> masticate <laughs> allow me now <laughs> sorry <laughs> allow me <laughs> the man mm. You cannot chew. <laughs> chew their food. Okay, for those mm. that cannot chew their food. Mm. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> what we did was um, we used plantain flour mm. to make pottage. Oh, interesting. Yeah, we we're like, how are we going to do this? Mm. We didn't have an idea on how to do it, so we used plantain flour. Mm. So for the patient or the aged person to get more nutrients. We blended eggs, boiled eggs. Mm. We mm -hmm. added, boiled yeah. Egg. We blended boiled eggs. You won't, you won't feel it. Okay. The patients won't feel it. It's blended. We blended boiled egg. Then we added while cooking the food. We added palm oil. Then the crayfish. We blended crayfish very well. Mm. Then the meat was minced. So basically, now this patient is getting. All the nutrients, nutrients they need. Yeah, they need. Then we made a drink for the patients. We made smoothie and we 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 called it. I think honey combo smoothie that time. <laughs> but yes, it was honey combo smoothie. <laughs> I remember it was honey combo smoothie. So we used um, banana, mm. um, 
honey like real honey not this one they sell in the supermarket mm, so like real, real corn, corn. corn honey honey um avocado and what do we even add again almond milk mm, yes. sounds so rich i'd like it for the, at the end of the day we tasted it was really good mm, and that's you what you do now right like, yeah yeah you make smoothies i make smoothies cook. i cook and my smoothies in my menu mm. to be honest i didn't just want to put any house smoothie i didn't want to put watermelon smoothie banana smoothie mm. and all those stuff before i started my business i combined one or two fruits i bought them myself and i blended it and tasted it i was like this fruit is mad meg. like <laughs> like it's meg <laughs> like so i have a lot of um how do i put it healthy smoothies healthy smoothies you get mm. um the tropical essence are basically tropical so you'd advise food. someone to take your smoothies because yeah. when, when i was no searching additives, online no they were saying that they won't have advising people to take smoothies and everything yes. what are the benefits of taking smoothies benefits of taking smoothies so smoothies are made up of all smoothies contains or contain smoothies contain oh, yeah. it's funny is that what you wear yeah yes yeah, smoothies now the shop yes, yes I, no. I watched the it to the end yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> smoothies basically contains fruits so we all know our fruits give us a little percent of um, carbohydrates mm. gives us fiber you understand mm. like is if you juice your fruits the fibers will be there the fibers are basically the rough okay, okay, okay. you get so the juice alone that's why um some diabetic people are, are like are we allowed to take fruits yeah some fruits you're allowed to take them especially with the rough edges. we don't really advise them to take just the juice because it goes straight to the bloodstream and mm. spike their, their sugar level. Their sugar level. So, taking smoothies with the refugees are best, or taking fruits with the refugees are best than juices. Yeah. Smoothies are better than yeah, juice. better than juices. Yeah. Okay. So, um, they contain fiber, two percent of carbohydrate. Um, yeah. So, um, some fruits, minerals. You get mm. you know minerals then. You need vitamin C for this course has actually made me know how important nutrition is. And I'm so happy that people now know the benefits of nutrition, how to eat healthy these mm. days. Okay. You know, before in Nigeria, anyhow, anyhow you would chop. <laughs> but now people are now, they are concerned. Like, yeah. ah, I want to. Although a few people are still angry, they are like, ah, give me a mala, make a chop like that. <laughs> I could chop up like that but i'm so happy that people now are seeing the benefits of what eating healthy can do it's, yeah it's good so you feel like this course that they brought new needs it has helped yes it has helped me a lot at this point i feel if i'm at home i know how to just you know enhance it <laughs> down. yeah okay so, okay so that's nice so you don't regret studying it just and be like i don't regret. at the end of the day you're like Thank no, God. I don't regret it's a nice course. It's really it's amazing. More people should try looking at this just and Yeah. Okay. All right. So she has told us a lot about his Sandy and in order not to make this too long, if you want her back and you know you have questions for her, let me know in the comment section. Please down. have questions for me. I like questions. <laughs> she likes interviews, so have questions for her in the comment section tell us if you enjoyed this tell us if you learned something new i can see i've learned a lot of new things i learned the difference between juice juice and smoothies yeah i've learned that yeah. like i learned a lot of things you know and tell me if you did too so don't forget to like subscribe turn on your post notifications <laughs> and share tell your friends about me if you found this video helpful share it to them you know i've got a full of t-shirt about yes Contact her for your menus. If you want to add weights and you're thinking, how will I add weights in the vice places? She's your girl. <laughs> Alright, thank you guys. Thank you so much. Bye. Bye.